Welcome everyone. This is a brief update on my efforts to dismantle my AC engine. Will this be good or bad news? Let's find out. It's the chilly 5th of November 2022 and I'm waiting for my engineer friend Chris to arrive. I'm heating the alloy block with two electric heaters, one halogen and one fan heater. Chris has made another bung to fit into the bottom of the liner, but this time with a wide flange. It's too cramped in my little workshop to video up closely, but we fitted a jubilee clip around the skirt of the damaged number one liner to stop the bung from slipping out, and maybe stop the skirt from bursting. As you can see, we have a be better bridge piece this time. So it is. Yeah, I have to go over there. Well, there you can hit that then. Um, I've got all of this. Yeah, can we put this? You can take the weight underneath a minute, it's because I'm, my fingers are tiring of it. Okay. Is it in the sleeve still? I think so. I wonder if that will go on there. Do you think it's in position? Feels in position, but I'll I'll take a look with the torch on. Must be sharp. This is where before I sort of put some weight on it, and it went. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look. Proper Heath Robinson, isn't it? Yep, that's it. Now you're going to have to stop the bottom turning. And there's the adjustable that Chris uses for wristwatches. Actually used for work on locomotives. There might be enough meat on a couple of the flats to hold it. Yeah, I think it's on. I think it's on? I'll start, I'm going to stop this turning this end anyway. Yeah. I'll come round here because I can get some weight across it this way. Get my hip against it. I keep my hands out in case bits sh come shattering off. It's got some weight on there now. It sort of moved. It sort of sprung back, it's just a springy move, like a springy move. I observed the liner pop up slightly and spring back, presumably the, the block flexing under considerable load. She's solid, isn't she? Something went. Probably the wood. Or maybe, I don't know. The block slipped off the wooden support. I'll just take a look to make sure it's not... I'm going to say, have a look, see what's happening, because there's a lot of weight on there now. Something should move somewhere. It? Doesn't look any higher than it was. I mean, the other option, now it's set up like that, is to turn the whole lot over and belt it. Which way are you going? I don't believe that's moving. I couldn't see any movement from the top. No. Oh, 
Speak. Something's gone, it may have broke this. It's broke it's broke the edge up. I don't yeah. think it's come down at all. You can see it's all cracked all dry. The edge of the skirt has crumbled but there was no movement. I'm contacting a specialist with experience of AC engines for advice or help. Chris could possibly machine the liners out but it's awkward while the head studs are in the way. Fast forward to the next day and I received a phone call from Chris. He suggested that I try sawing a slit along the liner, assuming I have a big saw blade from a mechanical saw. What household doesn't have such a device? And sure enough, I have one. I started the cut with a junior hacksaw as the big blade slides around, a pair of gloves to protect myself from all the broken liner edges. Needless to say, I'm being careful not to damage the alloy. two slots close together and then use the hammer and chisel to break a piece off. as though this approach is going to work, albeit slowly. After an hour I've decided to pack up for today. In the previous video I forgot to mention why I was removing the clips from the side of the block which are only there to hold the spark plug leads on. Back in the 1990s I wrote an article for the AC Owners Club about proposed design improvements to tackle reliability issues. One of these is poor circulation of cooling water around cylinders 5 and 6. This stagnant water deposits any debris which creates a vicious circle of poor cooling at the rear. I thought an injection of a jet of water to the rear might solve this. Rather than drill any holes in the block I suggested that an internal pipe could be installed. To secure it you could use the screws for those previously mentioned clips, or rather fitting longer screws. I can end with some good news for the engine. My new set of conrods have arrived from Robson's of Coventry. I wasn't expecting 8 section rods but I certainly won't complain. The big ends are narrower than the originals and take metric shells from a modern mini. The crankshaft will be stiffer since the crank pins will be shorter and larger in diameter. The small ends are metric 16mm bore ready for high compression pistons from the AC engine project. As soon as the crankshaft arrives and the block is fully stripped, I can get Chris to machine the block and get the engine project moving. That's all for now, see you soon.